a 966 kilogram crate is pulled up a slope as shown in the diagram. So here we see our diagram, there we see our crate, the mass 966 kilograms and it's being dragged up this slope of um, what did they say about the slope? Uh, they don't say anything, they just say calculate the potential energy it gained if it was pulled from the bottom of the slope to the top. So assuming that it start here, it started here at the bottom and it's going to be pulled up all the way to the top and the sketch indicates to us that the height is 1.4 meters. Okay, So the height from the bottom of the slope to the top is 1.4 meters. So what do we need to calculate? We calculate the potential energy gained. In other words, the change in the potential energy is what we're calculating, which means it's the potential energy it has in its final position minus the potential energy it has in its initial position. Okay, now we don't know how high this whole diagram is to start with, but let's just take this formula a little bit further and you'll see something interesting that we see that this is mass times gravity times final height okay minus uh, mass times gravity times initial height and we notice here that mass and gravity we can take it out as a common factor and we left here with final height minus initial height and this is simply the change in the height which is what we have we know what the change in the height was only 1.4 meters and that makes this question actually very easy that the change in the potential energy is equal to the mass times the gravity times the change in the height and it also makes sense why would a, an object's potential energy change well its mass won't change necessarily its gravity the gravitational constant is exactly that it's constant so the reason why potential energy changes is because height changes and that's the only reason so um, for that reason change of potential energy is simply mass times gravity times change in height okay which me makes this actually very easy 966 kilograms times 9.8 times change in height which we have as 1.4 meters and <laughs> that's a very simple calculation let's see 966 times 9.8 times 1.4 tells me that the change in potential energy 1003 uh, sorry 13253 52 joules okay which formula have we used well I hope you see that the only formula we used was this one okay there's a formula that we used what we knew in this formula was um, in this specific formula we know okay we know mass there's mass we know mass is equal to 966 we also substituted gravity 9.8 9.8 and height at 1.4 and uh, then we got that our potential energy is equal to 966 times 9.8 times 1.4 okay looks good and our final answer was 13,253.52 joules. Okay, preview. That's fine.